What's up everyone? Welcome to the Merciful Metal channel. My name is Thomas and we're just gonna do a casual casual video here in the background listening to cancer fucking cancer. Uh, picked this up recently, I'm going to show this in a minute. Haven't been re haven't really been in the mood for making a video for the past two or three weeks, whatever, after like that gigantic fucking haul I showed in the last video um, but I got some stuff and just wanted to show spin some stuff talk a little bit got a beverage with me over here metal tea this one is for you um, fucking Arizona hipster soda I like it cheers I always like when shit is like watermelon. Watermelon. I like it. So yeah, in the background we're listening to the uh, debut record of UK death metal band Cancer. To the gory end, this is a, um, I believe, 2021 or 2020 Peaceville reissue. It's on the turntable, so I can't show the color, but there was a hype sticker, which I put on the inner sleeve, it like, like this color. Fucking classic. Here's the inner with the lyrics and a nice band picture. Peace fill. Um, Their inner sleeves are like sandpaper, static, shitty, whatever. So I'm always careful um, picking up a peaceful, peace, peace feel reissues these days. But you know, I can change the inner sleeve so it's not too big of a problem. Yeah, fantastic record. I have an OG version of the second one but um, yeah yesterday I was in Germany visited a record store saw this one and I just picked it up for a nice price was looking after this one for a long time um, and never really picked up the reissue when it came out saw it in the store picked it up um, there was another day, like a few weeks ago, where I also went to Germany, different town, different city, um, also at a record store. I picked up two records there. Um, two records you would be surprised are not in my collection yet. Uh, one of them is Master of Puppets. I saw it, and first of all I was like, um, that's not a reissue and you know for the condition it is in like pretty much brand new uh, for the price you were selling it I was like yeah one and one is two this is a fucking bootleg but yeah I don't really mind that much. I mean, I wasn't looking for an original anyway, like generic sleeve, uh, purple. Yeah, fucking glow in dark, whatever shit. Um, but I picked it up for a very good price for a final record, so I thought, let go, whatever pick it up. Um, some records I don't mind being bootlegs. I don't really care for it that much. Um, unless I am looking for an original and it turns out to be a bootleg, then I would be pissed. But yeah, Master of Puppets. Like this is a timeless fucking eternal record. You will always find this one in a record store somewhere. So. So that's why um, 
it took me so long to pick it up, you know, you can, you will always encounter it somewhere. But um, I've been digging a lot through some uh, older music that I like listened to when I got into heavy metal. And I thought, yeah, let's just pick this one up on vinyl as well, because half that record is burned into my brain. Um, so, as of lately, I'm slowly gathering more of those records that aren't, like, that I don't feel the need to have, but still want, you know what I mean? Because Master of Puppets, you're gonna find it everywhere, that record is not going everywhere or anywhere compared to some like obscure South American whatever fucking record, you know what I mean? Yeah. Another one I picked up in that same store was again a bootleg um, Seasons in the Abyss by Slayer of course, the mighty Slayer um, This was on yeah, just plain black with some kind of bubblegum toxic color. Black is the way to go. Um, but yeah, Seasons in the Abyss. Um, not my favorite Slayer record by far, but it is a good one. I mean, the song fucking Warren Sample as well burned into my brain. Fucking classic. Um, yeah, just a cool record to have. It wasn't expensive, so I just thought, let's add it to the collection. Um, and then yesterday, I was talking... Uh, yeah, yesterday I was in Germany as well. I said I picked this one up. Another one I picked up yesterday in Germany. Um, another reissue. High Roller Records. Perfect, fantastic stuff, always. Uh, prote protector with, um, fuck, I, I always fuck it. Misanthropy. You know what the record is called. My pronunciation doesn't make it any different. This record, the first one, mini LP, whatever you want to call it, from 1987. High Roller reissue from whew, um, 2021, and as you know, High Roller filled with fucking goodies. First of all, inner sleeve lyrics and mandatory thrash collage. Also, um, a seven-inch. Um, bonus disc of their 1986, I believe 1986 demo. Very nice. Um, clear final. It's always fun to see, but again, I prefer black. Once you go black, you know, different. Um, yeah, mini 7 inch, wonderful, of course a um, big poster of the cover art. The, um, I don't know why I keep these in there, like their catalog, um, yeah, catalog sheets, I just keep them in there. And the record itself on whatever you call this it is marbled you can't really see it well the marble isn't really yeah anyway it is uh, transparent so in the light it's transparent I don't mind chord final like I've talked about this before. By the way, peaceful, peaceful. This this is a fucking inner sleeve, come on. Like the plastic inside. Oh. Peaceful, take notes of high roller. 
they fucking deliver. Um, yeah, protector, German, like, death, thrash, even like, first wave black metal-ish, mm -hmm. um, yeah, death, thrash, 1987, fucking insane record, love it. I'm still, um, like, this is my second protector record. I have a um, OG of Urm the Mad, but I'm still looking for many, many more records of this band because they are fucking fantastic. This is only my second record of their discography, um, but I'm really happy to add this one to the collection. Fantastic one, even though it is a reissue, you know, in my opinion, I prefer an original reissues always nice um, I only had these four records to show it's gonna be a short video but right now I was in the mood so thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I was going to say something but I forgot end it there. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.